All right, Gaming Gadget Grader here reviewing the Capic food thermometer. This is a uh, two probe food thermometer with a uh, app that allows you to wirelessly take a look at the temperature of whatever you may be cooking. Today we have a rack of ribs. We'll be doing those today um, on our smoker, our offset smoker. So first I wanted to kind of go over a little bit about the uh, device itself. Real simple, small, uh, with a digital readout, it'll give you Celsius, Fahrenheit, and it'll give you uh, temperatures that you want to reach. But you won't do too much on the on the device itself. You'll do more on the app, and we'll show you that in a second. It's got two probe uh, inputs. There's prong one and two. Uh, and then it's got your Celsius and Fahrenheit switch here in the back, as well as a battery door. Uh, it runs on batteries, isn't rechargeable. One of the knocks, but um, still uh, a good start. So let's take a look here. Let's plug in these two uh, probes. Uh, they come with this this threaded um, nylon connection, pretty sturdy, pretty long as well, which is good. So we'll plug one in, following the instructions that were included. We'll plug the other one in as well, and then we will turn it on. So you got three dials or three buttons here: uh, power and then plus minus. Those are for changing your uh, settings that you want to change on the device itself. Well, we're going to turn it on. And it's telling me that currently right now in the room uh, that the probes are picking up 71 degrees. So that's good. And that's that's what the temperature is uh, in the house. So let's take a look at the app. So iPad mini, it works on Android, uh, any iOS device, but I just run it off the iPad a little bit bigger. So here's a look at the, um, the app uh, real quick. So I have uh, two probe settings here. So one probe is set for ribs, so I'll put the, the probe one in the ribs themselves and then I'll put the other probe on the smoker so I have the ability to take a look at how hot is that smoker getting so let's take a look at the temperature settings here that you can adjust so on the smoker itself if you take a look right here you can set a minimum temperature alarm and you can set a maximum temperature alarm so right now I have mine set from 200 to 250 so that gives us the ability to set two alarms when it gets too cold and when it gets too hot. And then on the flip side for probe number one, it has USDA and it has kind of like an opinion of what you should have the temperature be. Uh, it's, uh, it's telling me that done is 145, well done is 180. You can also customize that. You can make that whatever temperature you want based on how you're trying to cook that. All right, so we'll put those, put the one in the ribs themselves we'll put the other one on the smoker grate um, to keep an eye on the, uh, the temperature of the fire itself. So what I did was is I took the one prong and I'm plugging into one of the holes that is in the grill. It's not meant for that. It's part of a mod here for the side box. So luckily it's in a decent spot. And now we see the temperature climbing up here on the physical unit, which we put out in our little side carrier here, which will give us a good spot to plug into the meat as well as the uh, grill. Now you'll see where that, that is. So that's where that pin is, or probe is. So that'll give us a pretty good idea of what the temperature is in the smoker itself. Now, so the app's giving us the current temperature there, 105 as it's climbing up. And that's how long it's been on. And we'll see what kind of happens from here. We're looking for about 225 before we put that meat on. And then we'll take this other probe and we'll put it in the meat and we'll put the meat on. And let me show you some of the other options here that we can adjust. So we'll hit set. And there's all these other meats and other options we have. You got fish, burgers, veal, everything. And it's giving you temperature ranges. You know, based on you know common knowledge, which will allow you to you know set what you want. You got turkey, you got burgers, so you can kind of tell it what you've got, what you're looking for. Or again, you can always customize the temperature that you're looking for, and that will set the alarm on the app as well as on the device to go off when those are achieved. So I'm moving around the house with this, just kind of test where we lose connection. So we're, I don't know, a good, uh, I'm bad at distances, a good 
30, 40 feet away from the grill. Grill's also outside. So I'm moving around my entire house, you know, where I'd want to have it. And we're going to go downstairs and try to go as, farther away, as far away as we can from it here in my house. Not the biggest house, but... So we're walking downstairs. We're in the basement now. And we just lost connection. So the grill is up that way, up a level through, you know, the innards of a house. I would say that, you know, we're probably a good 50 feet away from it. But we're also, you know, through some uh, concrete and things like that. So um, that was pretty decent, I would say. I wouldn't want to go much further than that. A lot of that had to do probably with what it was trying to go through, not the true distance itself. But you know, in, in our house, I think I could trust moving around with it. And uh, we got right back connected when we got close to it. So we got a good smoke going here. So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce the probe to the meat itself. We'll find a place that's good and in the middle there. Now we're still under temperature here, but the smoke got started a little earlier than I would have wanted. And so we're going to throw that on there and we're in. So now we've got one that's on the grates and one that's in the meat itself. So we should see now two temperatures going. One's for the pork ribs and one's for the smoker itself. We'll keep an eye on this and we'll see what happens next as we approach the temperature and the doneness and everything we need. So we've just hit our bottom temperature and nothing happened, like nothing beeped, nothing told me that that happened. So the device itself is not going off. figured that would be, you know, an important thing to know if you're away from the grill that it's up to temperature, you know, like an oven would beep. You know, you'd hope the grill would beep too, but, or rather the device would beep. Uh, it didn't, so, you know, luckily we're pretty attentive and looking at it, so. So we're up to uh, temperature. We'll see now what happens if we exceed uh, or drop below the two thresholds we have, which again are 200 and 250. So the app does make noise which is good and then I already turned this off when it was beeping so the app makes noise and the device itself makes noise so that's good because the whole idea is that you can be away from the grill and it will alert you when things are going on so kudos there for the uh, the alarm and the bell all right a couple more thoughts as we wrap up here we're getting close to being done um, the app when it closes or goes to sleep or you go back to the menu it kind of it resets the time not something that i love but really you're not cooking for an amount of time you're cooking for a temperature so as long as it keeps the temperature that's okay um had some struggles today we're using charcoal with the smoker so you go through a lot of charcoal it takes a lot of time but that's normal i mean that's understandable that's not anything that this device has anything to do with so i'm gonna click on tools here and show you a couple things uh, this is kind of cool, and the reason I, I brought up the timing here is that when it resets, it obviously resets your time, this will show you kind of a, a histogram of the temperature of each of your probes, which is kind of cool to see as it goes up and down. You'll see when the timing, when the, when the changes happen, when the bad things happen. Um, this is probably better for your propane smokers, electric smokers, things that are a little more dependable than your charcoal. Um, charcoal, just again, is, is not easy to deal with. So uh, there's that. There's also uh, info here. When you click on the info down at the bottom, it'll tell you the two temperatures. But more importantly, it'll tell you the battery life. We've gone about five hours now, and we haven't lost a single percentage on that battery. So that's huge to see, um, and that's really a huge positive. It's been a good experience. Um, other than the charcoal, which has been a struggle, this the device has given us good feedback. Uh, what we really like about it is the fact that you can see the big digital readout of both temperatures from a distance. From where I have my grill set up, I can see it from inside. 
it gives me a better reading. It's easier to read than the dial on the actual grill itself, so that's helpful. The app's been connected. We walked around the house, didn't have issues with it. Um, I guess the next step is to see how the ribs turn out, and um, sorry you can't taste them, but we'll show you those next. So here's the final product. Turned out pretty great. Awesome experience. Worked really well. Really enjoyed it. Read some more comments, uh, more of our thoughts at the bottom of the blog page. Uh, some extra little tidbits after the fact that we had after filming the review. Thanks for watching.